Hello guys, KP Shamino here and I finally got the unique freshwater drum. As you guys can see, I got him after a couple of days of trying and it's a very big one, 14 and a half kilograms. So his fish can go very high in a weight. So it's a cool fish, gives nice gold too. It's uh, not a fighter as the unique Northern Pike. It's a little bit less, so it's a little bit easier to catch. So I'm going to show you guys in this video, of course, how you need to catch them. So position first, then set up, and then I'm going to show you guys what kind of reward this fish gives. So let's keep him. Okay, first of all, at the moment, I'm at the position, the old position for the unique brown trout. At the moment, Michigan, you can run around and the teleports. Yeah, it's like this. It just teleports that uh, you teleport to one position, but you can run all the way around at the moment. So at the moment, I'm standing here from dawn till dusk. And if you want to catch the drum, the unique freshwater drum, you can get him from here all the way to here. I, I even got them over here and here. So this place is totally full. But the most people uh, fish on him around this blue boat. So what you can do is you can just stand here on the shore. Or you can stand on the opposite shore. It all works. So, But I got him here. I just throw most of the time just to the boat. I don't make it complicated, you guys know it. So what I do most of the time is like this. I just uh, throw it to the boat. So I'm not going to make a lot of meters because that's not necessary. I got most of my freshwater drums, trophies and the unique too at around 32, 34 meters. So between 40 and 20 meters, that's more than enough. You don't need to make 60 meters. Uh, it's possible that you can get it over there, but I didn't see a difference in going 60 meters or this. The main problem is if you need to go 60 meters or further, or even further than I'm throwing now, than 38, you need to go with the spinning rod. But the main problem with the spinning rod is that it's not always as secure as the casting rod, because he's just weaker. I got two uh, unique losses on it. Uh, because I was using the spinning rod. The fish was going away. And uh, yeah, I didn't saw him back. So he broke my line and he was gone. Therefore, I'm using the casting rod. Okay. So what you need to do is uh, do a stop and go. A stop and go works the best on this fish. But you need to do a fast stop and go. So you, I will show you guys for a moment. My speed is at 3. And what you do is like this. So you just reel. So we do it really fast. Reel. Stop. Oh. Yeah, and I got a bite here too. Yeah. It's possible. So that was a bite. So let's do it again. Reel. Stop. Reel. Stop. And you will see a perfect presentation of three dots on my stop and go. That's how you need to do it. And here we got a fish. Oh, and I need to watch it a little bit. Okay. I got the unique with a drag on four it's just okay i'm just not breaking my line but that's how you need to do it so now i got uh, a normal one so but uh, it's just the same so 37 meters this one was around i think once again 28 30 meters so that's more than enough distance that you need to make so drag three uh sorry speed of your reel three four drag and do a stop and go with the very fast one. Don't go too high with your lure. It's not necessary. Okay, let's keep this dude too. Okay, let's have a look at the setup. So I'm using once again a very heavy setup. Because it's now needed to use a very heavy setup. Otherwise you cannot keep the fish. So you will see here my Galaxy Cast 260, so a lure weight of 21 to 83, so that's gram, lure weight of 5 to 17 kilograms. That's more than enough, I don't think that they go higher than 17 kilograms. I'm still going with my Cyclone 5500, a drag of 16 kilograms, and you guys know it from my previous movies. Uh, if I go for a unique, I'm using Fluoro. With this Fluoro, you can 
get, let me have a look, 11.3 kilograms. So that was, it worked really well. This fish was 15 kilograms and I didn't have a really big problem to get him. him. So I could go with four drag and it still was okay on my line. So that works really perfect. Okay, that's the setup guys. For the lure, of course, very important. I'm using at the moment, if I'm not mistaken, here it is. Jighead 25G 40. Why I'm using that Jighead? Uh, because it works really well. You can throw really well with it. Uh, and the 40 hook, that's what you need. Otherwise, you are going to get like smallmouth bass a lot. You're going to get the white bass sometimes. So the 40 with the shed 10 centimeters. Does it matter which shed you use? No. You can use all the sheds of 10 centimeters. There is probably another uh, uh, stuff that works too. I didn't test it. I heard of a couple of guys that they got one at the spinner. But I cannot confirm it because it takes so much time to get this fish. That uh, I only tested this and this works really well. So if you want to go for the unique freshwater drum. Get this setup. 25G 40. Put the shed on. Go very heavy on the line, on the rod. Go with the casting rod. You can try with the spinning rod too, it doesn't matter. But you can have one problem that the fish goes away. With this setup, it's almost impossible that the fish gets away. So that's the setup. You guys know the position. So there are two more things that I can show. That's the net and that's the time. So here you see the unique uh, freshwater drum. And what the fuck, 44 gold. Yeah, 44 gold guys. That's uh, the most gold that I ever got in this game for one fish. So 558 experience. So a really good gold. I'm not saying gold farm because I don't think it's, uh, it's very farmable. Because it takes so much to get one. Okay, if you got a little bit RNG. And uh, the, the fishing gods are very good for you. You can probably get a couple. And it's a very good gold. 44, yeah. I'm still a little bit surprised because that's the first time that I see it. Okay, now for the times, guys. So for the times, that I can confirm at the moment. I got at a sunny day between 5 and 8 a.m. And 7 and 9 p.m. Of course, I will put the time frames under the video too. I got on a cloudy day between 8 and 9 a.m. I got mine between 8 and 9 a.m. too. So that are the time zones on a sunny day. A very big time frame, 5 hours on a cloudy day, 1 hour, probably going to be 2 or 3 in the future. Because I'm sure that there are still some time frames that need to be discovered. Okay, that was it guys. You guys know the position, you guys know the setup, you guys know what it gives, you know the time. So I cannot say more. A very cool fish to, to, to get, a very nice reward. And what is fun, in between you are going to catch a lot of trophies too. So, that was it. The trophy freshwater uh, drum. And I need to say the unique freshwater drum. Sorry for that. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Have fun in Michigan. Have fun with the game. Uh, if you like the movie, give me a like please. If you like my channel, give me a subscribe. You guys are going to uh, see now, of course, a little movie uh, with me catching uh, this fish. So, have fun. See you later. Bye bye.